Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just created this. You can see here this form. And if you have not seen my previous video, just go to description and check out the link. In this video, when uh, we are going to create it, when we submit, it will move to the next page. Okay. So let us start. That page name is successfully submitted. So let me create a new JFrame for that. So here I'm just creating new JFrame form. And has just renaming successfully submitted. Okay, clicking on finish. You can see form has been created. Let me set the size 1366 comma 768. After that, we are going to insert first button here. Let me insert a button. Let me go into the properties. Here I am selecting the close PNG image. And let me read this text and remove this. And after that, uh, we are placing it here. Okay. And we just need to display here two labels. I'm just placing uh, the label one first. And after that, uh, here we just need to display the message with marks, marks. The first is marks obtained. Okay. And I'm just writing 10 marks. Okay. And let me go to the properties and let me make it as bold. Let me make it as a, uh, let me remove it and make it as 60. Okay. Let me click on. Okay. Let me close this marks obtain. Let me read this text marks obtain 10. Okay. And one more level I'm going to use it here. And let me read this text and successfully updated okay let me also make it as a uh, going to the properties making it as bold 60 bold 60 let me click on ok let me close this let me make a little bit right let me select this and uh, let me make it a little bit let me select this and let me make it also right okay after that, we just need to insert here background image. So for that, I'm just selecting uh, absolute layout. After that, I'm inserting a label here and going to the properties. I'm inserting an image. That one is page, page student. Okay. Let me close this. Let me place it perfectly on this form. Let me double click on this and let me move a little bit down. Let me double click on this. You can see there is a label name. Just remove it and save it. Now, now we have to transfer a result or you can say marks from this quiz exam page to this page. So for that, first we need to move to the source and here we just need to create this. Okay. Let me copy this and let me paste it here. And here we just need to here in this we are writing a string and here we are just taking the marks okay and here I'm just writing a string marks one is equals to double quotes I'm just writing marks marks obtained okay and uh, after that plus marks Okay, and J label that one is a label one dot set text. We are setting text, and here is a marks one. Okay, and we did not transfer data from that page to this page, so we are moving to the quiz or exam student page. And here, just moving to the source, and here we are moving to the public wide submit method. In this method, here we are removing the G option pan message. And here I'm just writing set, set, set visible false. Okay. And the new visible, we are just writing successfully submitted. Okay. With string marks. Okay. Here just need to write the previous page. We just need to write marks. Okay. Marks one dot set visible. And here I'm just writing true. Okay. So 
let me run it from this instruction page and uh, let me start this quiz okay let me select the lower case let me click on next let me select this correct answer next let me select this correct answer let me next correct answer okay let me select this one okay wrong answer let me select one by one any answer not a problem okay selecting all uh, let me i just want to submit i don't want to okay let me select this and our answer is four and let me select this and this one is the correct answer it means that when uh, when we submit this the mark should be reached to the five let me check it out submit you can see marks obtained is five okay we did not remove min max button not to worry we will remove it okay so you can see the marks here successfully submitted with the message when we click on this back it's not working we did not write the code for this one also so let me write this let me move to successfully submitted and here first thing is we just need to remove min max and close button so i'm just uh, decreasing the size of this form and going to the properties of the form and here i'm just clicking on undecoded okay let me close this let me make it again okay increasing the size okay and after that we are just uh, writing the codes for this close button or you can see just me double click on this we are moving to our index page so it's just writing set visible false and we are setting the new visible is index okay index dot set visible false okay so let me run this you can see perfectly fit marks of 10 10 successfully submitted when we click on this we will move to the our index page okay it's not working let me check it out okay we write as a false so let me write it true okay let me run it again try it let me close this you can see we move to the our student page let me move to the admin module because we also need to create one more part of this admin okay let me click on login so examination has been done so now we have to create a new jframe for the all student result so i will create this form in next video so this is all about submit uh, successfully submitted page or you can say jframe i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you